Yeah, the first portion of this video focuses on the performance characteristics of the two primary image intensifiers used in the PBS4. First is a Gen 2 25mm fiber optic input, commonly known as a 9644 tube. This tube features an electron lens that electrostatically focuses and inverts the photoelectrons onto the input of the microchannel plate. From the output of the microchannel plate, these photoelectrons are focused onto the phosphor screen. The second is a Gen 3 25mm fiber optic input, double proximity focused and fiber optically inverted. And here we have the PBS4 system itself attached to a 4348 test unit. On the back we have a relay lens onto which a camera can be coupled to capture footage from the test set through the PBS4. So let's go ahead and set the settings on the test set. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't do well on low light, and I cannot pick up an image with it on the low light setting on either Gen 2 or Gen 3. I actually have to select the high output and the Gen 3 setting. On the Gen 3 setting, this is the lowest output luminance that I can select for the highlight mode. On Gen 2, the output luminance is much, much higher than on the Gen 3. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like through the Gen 2 and then through the Gen 3. Okay, the PBS4 is all fired up with the Gen 2 image intensifier. And this is the test pattern generated by the 4348 test set. And the image you're seeing is very representative of the uh, Gen 2 ESI tube types, the 96. Okay, so the Gen 2 ESI tube has been swapped out for the Gen 3 double proximity focused a uh, fiber optic converting tube known as the 11620. And again, just as with the Gen 2 ESI tube, the image is very representative of this tube type. And here out in the field is the PVS4 with the Gen 2 ESI tube. Uh, the conditions were good. Uh, it was a new moon, there was starlight, and some rural light pollution. And here is the Gen 3 double proximity focus tube under the same conditions. These were taken approximately 10 minutes apart the time it took me to pull one tube and install the other. Okay, this is an unfinished section that was supposed to feature the TVS-5. Uh, this is a TVS-5 with a Gen 2 ESI uh, image intensifier. This is a TVS-5 with a fiber optic input Gen 3 MX11620 image intensifier. And this is a glass input uh, Gen 3 25 millimeter image intensifier in the TVS-5. Now this last one is a F9800K 18 millimeter image intensifier. And this gives you a real opportunity to see the difference in, with the same lens system uh, between an 18 millimeter and 25 millimeter format tube. Okay, so here's the 18 millimeter format setup with the AN TVS-5 objective lens. We're using the Startron MK880 focus assembly and a Startron MK880 night vision module with an F9800K image intensifier. I felt that by using the same objective uh, lens system with the different format tubes, that a more precise representation of the performance characteristics between these tube formats could be obtained. And I think that it did a pretty good job of doing so.